Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Knit Crow Addict channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet a very cute top using a tail stitch. And you can wear this top with many different styles. And today I have a few different outfits on here that I would love to share with you. I love them all so much. And I would love to know which outfit is your favorite. And I have free written pattern include this woman sizes. Extra small go up to double XL. It's available on our blog at knitcrowaddict.com. If you prefer the PDF pinnable version, it's available for purchase on our Etsy, Rowery, and Lovecraft. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below. And for today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you in size small, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. And please check in the description below for all the details that you need to know how to make this beautiful top. I hope you enjoy and let's get started. For this project, I use Hoscon Coast. This is number zero lace weight yarn. This one in color Asparagus. 55% lamb's wool and 45% cotton. In each cake, it has 383 yards. For size small, I use about 690 yards. If you want to substitute yarn, just look for number zero, lace weight yarn, and check the gauge before you start. And three millimeter crochet hook, scissors, yarn needle, and one stitch marker. For this crochet top pattern, we make in two separate pieces, make exactly the same. We have the front panel and the back panel, okay? So we're gonna start with the strap first. Let's pretend this is not here yet. So we start with the strap, and when we're done with one strap, we're gonna make one more strap exactly the same. And then after that, we're gonna add the chain here and then crochet into the strap and then add the chain for the neckline and then crochet into the strap and then add the chain here. Then gonna continue crochet the body part like this. Super easy. And after that, we're gonna put the panel together like this, and then sew the shoulder seam or the strap, then sew the side seam, and then crochet around the neckline edge and then the armhole edges, and we are done. Okay. The measurement for size small is 17.77 inches width a cloth and 16.53 inches length from the strap here, from the shoulder down. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna make straps. We're gonna make two straps exactly the same. Before we start, we're gonna leave about 12 to 14 inches long tail. We're gonna use this tail to sew up the shoulder seam of the front and the back panel together. And after that, you're gonna make slip knot. Use any method you prefer to make slip knot. This pattern is in a multiple of six plus two chains. So we're gonna make 20 chains. One, two, three, four, five, 19, 20. Row one is gonna be the wrong side. For an odd number row, it's gonna be the wrong side. We're gonna skip the first chain and then one single crochet into the next chain. But I like to insert my hook into that little bump on the back of the chain. You don't have to do that, totally up to you. And then yarn over hook, pull up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. That is my first single crochet on row one. Then we're gonna make one single crochet into each chain of cloth. Again, I like to insert my hook into that little bump on the back of the chain. Yarn over hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. Repeat into each chain of cloth. I'm at the end of row one and I have 19 single crochet stitches across. For row two, 
we chain one and turn or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and the chain one doesn't count at a stitch then we're gonna make one single crochet into that first stitch and then skip the next two stitches one and two and into the next stitch we're gonna make one chain stitch for the chain stitch you're gonna make five double crochet all into the same stitch so i yarn over my hook i skip the next two stitches and then insert my hook into the next stitch yarn over hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops that is double crochet so we need four more double crochet into the same stitch do the same okay now i have five double crochet into the same stitch or that count as one chain stitch next skip the next two stitches one and two into the next stitch make one single crochet and we're gonna repeat this across we're gonna skip two stitches one two into the next stitch we're gonna make a chain stitch Again, for shell stitch, we make five double crochet all into the same stitch. And then skip two stitches one two into the next stitch make one single crochet and repeat skip two stitches one two into the next stitch make a shell stitch And then skip two stitches one two into the next stitch which is the last stitch we're gonna make one single crochet at the end of row two we have three chain stitches row three chain three and turn the first three chains count as one double crochet and then we're gonna make two double crochet into that same stitch the very first stitch right here so in close the first three chain it will be three stitches into the same stitch here then we're gonna skip the next two stitches one two into the next stitch make one single crochet skip two stitches one two into the next stitch make a chain stitch skip two stitches one two into the next stitch make one single crochet skip two stitches one two into the next stitch make a chain stitch skip two stitches one two into the next stitch make a single crochet and now we have three stitches left 
at the end here we're gonna skip the next two stitches and then into the next stitch which is the last stitch we're gonna make three double crochet Here's what it looks like at the end of row 3. For row 4, we chain 1 and turn. The chain 1 doesn't count at its stitch. And then make 1 single crochet into the first stitch. Skip 2 stitches. 1, 2. Into the next stitch, make a chain stitch. Skip two stitches, one, two, into the next stitch, make one single crochet. And we're gonna repeat, we skip two stitches, one and two, into the next stitch, make a chain stitch. Skip two stitches, one, two, into the next stitch, make one single crochet. Repeat, skip two stitches, one, two, into the next stitch, make a chain stitch. Skip two stitches, one, two, and then into the next stitch, which is the last stitch. We're gonna make one single crochet. The last stitch is gonna be the third chain, okay? Because the first three chain, the turning chain, we count as one double crochet, right? So get into that third chain. We're gonna make a single crochet. The pattern repeat is row three and row four. So I'm gonna repeat row three and row four 10 more times and I will have a total of 24 rows start count from row one, okay? I'm gonna show you one more repeat which is row five and row six. For row five, we're gonna repeat row three. We chain three, count as one double crochet and turn. And then make two double crochet into the very first stitch, the same chain three stitch. Then skip two stitches, one, two, into the next stitch, make one single crochet. Skip two stitches, one, two, into the next stitch, make a chain stitch. Skip two stitches, one, two, into the next stitch, make one single crochet. Skip two stitches, one, two, into the next stitch, make a chain stitch. Skip two stitches, one, two, into the next stitch, make one single crochet. And now you have three stitches left at the end you're gonna skip the next two stitches and then into the next stitch which is the last stitch we're gonna make three double crochet make exactly the same as row three oops now 
Now for row six, we're gonna repeat row four. We chain one and turn, and then make one single crochet into the first stitch. Skip two stitches, one, two. Into the next stitch, make a chill stitch. Skip two stitches, one, two, into the next stitch, make single crochet. Skip two stitches, one, two, into the next stitch, make a chill stitch. Skip two stitches, one, two, into the next stitch, make single crochet. Skip two stitches, into the next stitch, make a chill stitch. Skip two stitches, and then make one single crochet into the next stitch, which is the last stitch right at the third chain there. Okay, here's what this look like so far. Okay, I'm gonna keep repeating row three and row four over and over until I reach the end of row 24. Good luck and take your time. I'm at the end of row 24. And next, you're just gonna cut the yarn. I cut the yarn, leave a little bit of tail, just enough to weave in the end later. Then pull the yarn out, and I'm done with the strap. And here's what it looks like. And you need one more of the strap, exactly the same, okay? And after you have two of these straps, come back and I will show you how to crochet the body part. Okay, now I have my two straps make exactly the same. Next, we're gonna crochet the body part and also we're going to join the straps into the body part as well. And right now my strap right side facing up and I wanna turn the wrong side facing up. So I turn my strap wrong side facing up like this. All right. Then we're gonna bring a new yarn here and make slip knot. And then make 18 chains. One, two, three, four, five, ten, six. 17, and 18. Next, we're gonna connect these chains into the strap. So we're gonna make three double crochet into the very first stitch on the last row of the strap right here. Okay, this is row 24. So to do that, I'm gonna yarn over hook like this. I'm gonna bring it up so you can see. Okay, after I yarn over my hook here, I'm gonna insert my hook into the very first stitch on the strap. Yarn over hook, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And I need to make two more double crochet into the same stitch. Okay, I forget to tell you, this is row one on the body part. So after I have three double crochet into the first stitch, I'm gonna skip two stitches, one, two, into the next stitch, make one single crochet. Skip two stitches, one, two, into the next stitch, make a chill stitch. Again, chill stitch, we make five double crochet into the same stitch. Oops. Oops. 
skip two stitches, one, two, into the next stitch, make one single crochet. Skip two stitches, one, two, into the next stitch, make a chill stitch. Skip two stitches, one, two, into the next stitch, make one single crochet. And now you have three stitches left. You're gonna skip two stitches and then into the next stitch, which is the last stitch, we're gonna make three double crochet. Oops. Okay, here's what it looks like so far. Next, we're gonna make 47 chains and this one is gonna be the neckline part so 47 here's one two three four five forty six and forty seven and then we're gonna connect this part into the other strap again wrong side facing up we're gonna make three double crochet into the very first stitch on the last row of the strap. Basically, we make the same as the first strap there. Okay, first we're gonna yarn over hook like this and then insert the hook into the very first stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And two more double crochet into the same stitch. Skip two stitches, one, two, make one single crochet into the next stitch. Skip two stitches, one, two, make a chill stitch into the next stitch. Skip two stitches, one, two, Make one single crochet into the next stitch. Skip two stitches, one, two, make a chill stitch into the next stitch. Skip two stitches, one, two, make one single crochet into the next stitch. Now we have three stitches left. We're gonna skip two stitches and then make three double crochet into the last stitch here. Okay, now we're gonna make 19 chains. That's one, two, three, four, five, 18, and 19. Okay, now we complete Row one on the body part, and let me show you the whole thing here. Yeah? Okay, so here's what it look like at the end of row one. For the body part, we have 18 chain here. It's gonna be for the underarm. Then we crochet into the strap. Then we have 47 chains for the neckline. Then we crochet into the strap. And on this side, we have 19 chains instead of 18 because we add one more chain that is gonna be for the turning chain to move on to the next row so yeah <laughs> hope you have the same okay next we're gonna make row two so we turn our work so row two we're gonna skip the first chain and then into the next chain we're gonna make one single crochet I like to insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the chain. You don't have to do that, totally up to you. And then yarn over hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. And then skip two chains. One, two, into the next chain, make a chill stitch. Oops. For the chill stitch, we make five double crochet all into the same stitch.
Okay, then skip two chains. One, two. Into the next chain, make one single crochet. Skip two chain. One, two. Into the next chain, make a chain stitch. Skip two chain, one, two, into the next chain, make one single crochet. Skip two chain, one, two, into the next chain, make one chill stitch. Skip two chain and then make one single crochet into the next stitch here. Okay, so basically we're just gonna repeat this pattern across and you're gonna treat the chain as a normal stitches. Okay, I show you a couple more times. So I'm gonna skip two stitches and then into the next stitch make a chill stitch. Skip two stitches, one, two, into the next stitch, make one single crochet. And repeat, skip two stitches, and then make chill stitch into the next stitch. Skip two stitches, make one single crochet into the next stitch. Skip two stitches, make chill stitch into the next stitch. Skip two stitches, make one single crochet into the next stitch. Now we come to the chain part. Again, we're gonna treat the chain as a normal stitches. So we skip two chains. Into the next chain, make chill stitch. Right here. Skip two chains. One, two, into the next chain, make one single crochet. All right, so you're gonna keep repeating this across. You're gonna skip two chains and then make chill stitch into the next chain, skip two chain, one single crochet into the next chain. Keep doing that and when you come to this uh, normal stitch at the strap part here you're gonna keep repeating the same okay and continue the rest of the chain on the underarm here as well and yeah I'm gonna keep doing that and I will be back when I'm at the end of row 2 I'm at the end of row 2 and I have a total of 20 chill stitches across and from now on the pattern is just gonna be Pretty easy. It's the same pattern that we made on the strap. Okay, row three. We chain three. Count as one double crochet and then turn. Then we're gonna make two double crochet into the very first stitch. The same chain three stitch.
skip two stitches, make one single crochet into the next stitch. Skip two stitches, make chill stitch into the next stitch. Skip two stitches and then make one single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, we gonna keep repeating this. We gonna skip two stitches and then make chill stitch into the next stitch. Skip two stitches. Make one single crochet into the next stitch. All right, so you're gonna repeat this. You're gonna skip two stitches and then make chill stitch into the next stitch. Skip two stitches, make one single crochet into the next stitch. Keep repeating that until you have three stitches left. Then I will be back. I have three stitches left. I'm gonna skip the next two stitches and then make three double crochet into the last stitch. For row four, chain one and turn and then make one single crochet into the first stitch. Skip two stitches, make one chill stitch into the next stitch. Skip two stitches, make one single crochet into the next stitch. We're gonna repeat this across. We skip two stitches, make a chill stitch into the next stitch. Skip two stitches, make one single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat, skip two stitches, make chill stitch into the next stitch. Skip two stitches, make one single crochet into the next stitch. All right, you're gonna keep repeating this. You're gonna skip two stitches and then make chill stitch into the next stitch. Skip two stitches, make one single crochet into the next stitch. Keep repeating that across, then I will be back. Okay. So I want to show you at the end here, after we make the last chill stitch, we have three stitches left at the end. We're going to skip the next two stitches and then make one single crochet into the next stitch, which is the last stitch, right at the third chain, right here. Okay. Here's what it looks like at the end of row four. For this pattern, it's two rows repeat, which is row three and row four. So I'm gonna repeat row three and row four 17 more times. And I will have a total of 38 rows, start count from row one of the body part. If you want shorter top, make less repeat. And if you want a longer top, just keep repeating row three and row four more times.
and this is just the same pattern that we made on the strap and if you cannot remember just rewind the video okay so yeah I gonna keep repeating row 3 and row 4 17 more times and I will be back when I'm at the end of row 38 good luck and take your time I'm at the end of row 38 next you're gonna cut a yarn and leave about 30 inches long tail I already cut my yarn leave a long tail then pull the yarn out then you are done with one piece of the top now you need to make one more of this piece everything the same except at the beginning when you start the strap you don't need to leave a long tail because we already leave a long tail on this strap okay and other than that make exactly the same all right at the end leave a long tail exactly the same and yeah after you have two of these pieces i will show you how to sew them together next we're gonna sew the shoulder seam we're gonna use the long tail that we left earlier on the straps to sew the shoulder seam and i went ahead and sew one side here and here's what it looks like and we're gonna sew on the wrong side so we're gonna place the top right side facing each other the wrong side out and you can use any method you prefer to sew okay i'm gonna use my yarn needle to sew the shoulder seam with the tail that i left earlier the tail is come from the front side and it doesn't matter which side you choose to be the front or the back because they are the same okay then i'm gonna insert my yarn needle into the first stitch on the back side there and pull through then insert into the first stitch on this side and then first stitch on that side again just to lock the yarn then insert into the next stitch insert into the next stitch there I insert into both loops then pull through insert into the next stitch here next stitch there and pull through next stitch here next stitch there pull through insert into the next stitch here and then next stitch there pull through this is what i'm gonna sew back and forth until the end make sure don't sew too tight or too loose and when i reach the end i just gonna hide my tail and i will be back okay i sew the shoulder seam until the end this is the wrong side and here is the right side okay next we're gonna sew the side seam so we're gonna continue sewing on the wrong side using the tail that we left earlier to sew and you can use any method you prefer to sew i went ahead and sew one side this is the wrong side and here is the right side and yeah i'm gonna show you how to sew on this side i insert the tail into my yarn needle ready to go I got my tail from the back side here. I'm gonna insert my needle into the first stitch on the front side, right here at the corner there. And then insert into the first stitch where the tail comes from on the back side and pull through. Then insert into the first stitch on the front side and then first stitch on the back side there, the same stitch, just to lock the yarn for the side seam it's a little difficult to see the normal stitches because we sew into the end of each row you can uh, need to take your time and check as you go make sure that both sides are nice and lining up like this that's all important and make sure don't sew too tight or too loose so i'm gonna insert into the next stitch here and then next stitch there then pull through, insert into the next stitch here, next stitch there, pull through, 
next stitch here and next stitch there pull through next stitch here and next stitch there pull through next stitch here next stitch there pull through and yeah this is what I gonna sew back and forth all the way up until I reach the end and after that I gonna weave the end all right just take your time on this side <laughs> good luck and I will be back soon okay after I sew until the end I went ahead and weave all my ends here on the side of the top next we're gonna crochet around the edges to do that we're gonna turn the right side out we're gonna crochet on the right side we're gonna crochet around the armhole edges first I went ahead and crochet one side it's very easy and I will show you how to crochet on this side I'm gonna insert my hook right at the side seam eight right here okay then bring the new yarn you can add a new yarn any method you prefer so I'm just gonna bring my new yarn and then hold it on the back like this then a yarn over hook pull up a loop chain one doesn't count at a stitch then into that same stitch I'm gonna make a single crochet insert the hook into the same stitch yarn over hook pull up a loop two loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook that is my first single crochet on round one of the armhole edge then place the stitch marker into the first stitch we're gonna work in spiral we're not gonna slip stitch to end the round and we're not gonna chain one to start new round the stitch marker is very important and then we're gonna make one single crochet into each chain until we reach the corner the strap corner remember we chain uh, 18 to make the underarm part so next chain is gonna be this one right here sorry it's a little difficult to see make single crochet single crochet into the next chain single crochet into the next chain then single crochet into the next chain here single crochet into the next chain now I reach the strap corner the next we're gonna crochet into the end of each row on the strap part so on the strap we have the double crochet row and then the single crochet row right so on the double crochet row we're gonna make two single crochet in there then on the single crochet row we're just gonna make one single crochet into that row and repeat that I'll show you the first row here we're gonna make two single crochet because it's the double crochet row right here and then the next row is gonna be a single crochet row we're gonna make single crochet into that row next row is gonna be double crochet row we're gonna make two single crochet next row is gonna be single crochet row 
you're gonna make one single crochet into that row next row double crochet row you make two single crochet next row single crochet row we make one single crochet and then next row it's gonna be double crochet row we're gonna make two single crochet in there so yeah you're gonna keep doing this you make two single crochet into the double crochet row and then make one single crochet into the single crochet row just keep doing this and when you reach the shoulder seam just make one single crochet into that shoulder seam so it doesn't have a big hole right there and then on the other side of the strap you're gonna do exactly the same that you did on this side okay then when you come to this chain stitches right here which is 18 chain that we make for the underarm you're gonna make one single crochet into each chain across till the end all right keep doing that and i will be back when i'm at the end i'm at the end of round one and I have a total of 112 stitches around. If you have a few stitches less or a few stitches more, it's totally fine. Just make sure that both sides are the same stitch count. Round two, remove the stitch marker and then make one single crochet into that first stitch that we just removed the stitch marker. And then place the stitch marker into the first stitch for round two it's gonna be very easy we're just gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around single crochet into the next stitch here single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch all right keep making one single crochet into each stitch around I'm at the end of round two next we're gonna cut a yarn and weave the end I cut the yarn pull the yarn out and I bring my yarn needle insert the tail into my yarn needle then I gonna skip the next stitch which is the first stitch right at the stitch marker and then insert my needle into the next stitch there and remove the stitch marker and then I bring the needle through then insert the needle back into the last single crochet that I just made where the tail come from right here bring it in and pull through see it just create a new stitch here that's why we skip one stitch and yeah then I gonna weave the end inside the top you can weave the end finish your work any method you prefer all right I'll come back and weave all my end later and both side crochet exactly the same Next, we're gonna crochet around the neckline. For the neckline edge, we're gonna make the same as the armhole edge. Okay, and I'm gonna start with insert my hook right at the shoulder seam. Again, we crochet in a round on the right side. Okay, then after that, I'm gonna bring my new yarn and I hold it on the back and yarn over hook pull up a loop then chain one doesn't count it is stitch and then make one single crochet into the same stitch that is my first single crochet on round one and i'm gonna place the stitch marker into the first stitch there so we're gonna crochet into the end of each row of the strap part and it's have a double crochet row and a single crochet row 
for the double crochet row, we're going to make two single crochet in there. And for a single crochet row, we're going to make one single crochet in there. Okay, make the same as the armhole edge. So for the next row here, it's going to be a single crochet row. Next row here is also single crochet row. Then we have double crochet row. So we're going to make two single crochet in there. Then we have a single crochet row. Make one single crochet. Then we have double crochet row. Make two single crochet. Then we have a single crochet row. Make one single crochet. And then double crochet row. Make two single crochet. All right, you're gonna keep repeating this. One single crochet into the single crochet row. And then two single crochet into the double crochet row. Keep doing that until you reach the corner. Then I will be back. Okay, I'm at the corner. And next, we're gonna crochet into each chain that we made at the neckline, okay? So I have 47 chains here. So first chain that I'm gonna make a single crochet into is gonna be this one. And the next chain right here. It's a little difficult to see and to insert the hook into as well. Just take your time. Okay. And then single crochet into the next chain here. Single crochet into the next chain. Single crochet into the next chain. Single crochet into the next chain. Okay, here's what it looks like so far. This is the corner. All right, keep making one single crochet into each chain until you reach this corner. Then you're gonna crochet into the end of each row of the strap part again you're gonna make two single crochet into the double crochet row and then one single crochet into one single crochet row keep repeating that and when you reach the shoulder seam make one single crochet into that shoulder seam so it doesn't have a big hole okay then you're gonna crochet on the strap do exactly the same on the back here and then crochet into each chain across the back side till you reach the corner. Then you're gonna crochet into the end of each row of the other strap. Okay, for the strap, do exactly the same. Make two single crochet into double crochet row. Make one single crochet into the single crochet row. All right, keep doing that around. I'm at the end of round one and I have a total of 244 stitches around. If you have a few stitches less or a few stitches more, it's totally fine. So for round two, we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around. It's gonna be very easy. First, remove the stitch marker and then make one single crochet into that first stitch. Place the stitch marker into the first stitch. And then single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. 
single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch keep making one single crochet into each stitch around I'm at the end of round two next I gonna cut a yarn and weave the end I gonna weave the end exactly the same as the armhole edge so I will do that later and that's it just weave all the ends and you are done and here's what this look like I think it's super cute I love it so much I hope you enjoy watching this video if you make this top I would love to see it if you want to share your work with me just tag me on Facebook or Instagram at knit crawl addict I gonna put all the links in the description below thank you so much for watching I will see you next video bye bye